name is Dr. Frank Berenson. I'm from uh, Atlanta, Georgia in the United States, and I'm a uh, pediatric neurologist there. So I came to Monterey to evaluate, well, for several reasons, but primarily to evaluate the stem cell transplant program here, because I've had a number of patients come down here with cerebral palsy, and I wanted to find out exactly what was going on and uh, what kind of treatment they were receiving. And likewise, I was uh, asked to give a talk during a hematology conference here. And my first patient came here perhaps gosh, nine or 10 years ago, shortly after the stem cell transplant program opened. And at that point in time, stem cell therapy was, was very much in its infancy. There was really no uh, or minimal published literature and little experience in stem cell therapy, so I was quite skeptical and uh, apprehensive uh, concerning uh, one of my patients coming down to Mexico uh, to a hospital that I knew nothing about for a treatment that uh, was very early in its infancy. Uh, fortunately, the patient did very well here. and I've subsequently had a number of patients come down here and many of them have had significant improvement in function. I was uh, very impressed, one, with uh, Dr. Masio Guerra's professionalism. I think she's uh, remarkable with families and very compassionate, and she really does remarkably well with her patients. I was thrilled by her bedside manner and her uh, degree of expertise and knowledge about what she's doing. And I was quite pleased with the uh, services in the hospital and the um, level of care provided. Many of the clinical trials in the United States are placebo controlled trials and I would rather my patients receive therapy at this point in time rather than going to a clinical trial where they might uh, receive a placebo. Uh, likewise, stem cell therapy is delivered intrathecally here, which means into the spinal canal uh, through an injection or through a spinal tap. and. In the United States, uh, stem cell therapy is performed through um, intravenous or IV administration. And my feeling is that intrathecal treatment is probably going to be more effective. I think the most important improvement I've seen is improvement in motor skills and motor function following therapy. But we've also seen improvement in attention, cognition, uh, alertness. Um, just general intellectual function. Oh, I think I, I have been recommending stem cell therapy to a number of my patients and I feel much better about it now and certainly much better about um, Monterey in this specific facility and absolutely. I think it's a uh, treatment uh, that is going to become very important for uh, patients with cerebral palsy in the future.